The heroic epos about Koblen de Batir describes his horse as fast and loyal friend. Batir has traveled on horseback across the entire length of the Kazakh steppe. Kazakhs have always had special respect for horses. Horses were used as transportation, their meat served as gourmet meals, and mare's milk is healthy. Hello, you're watching Kazakh Live Duster with Tamara Sar. Today we'll talk about horse breeding. Horses are known to be loyal and protective to their owners. They will never leave a man in trouble. The Kazakh people follow many customs and traditions associated with horses. Today, our guest is Mirzabai Omarov. He's the chief of the Scientific and Methodological Department of Customs and Traditions Center in Shymkent. Welcome to the studio. Hello. You conduct researches and study horses, all the details associated with them. Tell us about these animals. Kazakhs say horse is one of the people's seven treasures. Horses have become an integral part of the Kazakh people's life, entering the history as the sacred animal. The people even have the expression, a man with horse temperament. Everything indicates to special respect for these animals, which can be evidenced in early historical sources. In particular, the remains of horses of the Butai culture were found in the Birel Reserve. <laughs> The Kazakh people had to pass through many hardships, as well as to be blessed with bright days. The history proves that their life was inevitably linked with horses. Horses were always considered to be the first and reliable friend of men in the fight against the enemy. The life of the Batir was closely intertwined with the fate of his loyal friend. Therefore, we confidently can say that the history of horses and the history of the Kazakh people are closely connected. <laughs> Heroic epics describe many traditions related to horses. Koblan de Batar and Alpamas Batar chose their horses at an early age. The choice of a true friend always occupies an important place in legends, since it directly affects the fate and life of the Batirs. The behavior of horses, their efforts to protect their owners from enemies, their help at the right time, give us the opportunity to represent horses as clever animals. A life along with horses is useful for a man. Horses are very clean animals. Seers, clairvoyants, healers have always used mare's milk, horse meat, skin and hooves in their rides. In healing procedures, for example, studies have shown that if a horse skin is scraped down, and more precisely, if released sweat is taken, medicine proves that it's really good for the human organism. It was used to heal wounds. 
Horse wet mane were widely used among people. It was believed that all this protects from evil spirits. The horse occupies a special place in rituals and traditions. This is evident from the moment of a child's birth. For example, lock of horse hair is put into an infant's crib, under the head or under the foot. In addition, people hang armor and a whip alongside a baby's cradle in order to protect him from evil spirits. This probes people's reverence towards horses. Horses possess exceptional qualities. The first researchers of the Kazakh culture wrote that Kazakhs do not need to be taught anything. Their traditions are wealth of knowledge. All this knowledge is a reflection of the worldview, life experience passed down from our ancestors. Horses represent knowledge, culture, art. Sure. The Kazakh people have many traditions related to horses. Please, tell us about them. Yeah. From the very birth of a child, all these traditions find their designation in everyday life. For example, by the age of three, when the child's bones are strong, it's time for him to learn to ride a horse with a baby saddle. The meaning is that people's whole life will be connected with a horse. Therefore, already at this age, children are taught to ride a horse, and a special saddle is made for them. When a child is riding his first stallion, he's taken to relatives to mark the special event. The child sees the environment, gets acquainted with the world. Another unique feature is that the whole herd is led by a stallion. The leading horse doesn't let strange ones into the herd and does not let the mares out. This shows that horses also follow the principles of monogamy or polygamy. Thank you so much for the conversation. We would be glad to meet you again. You presented very interesting information. I wish you all the best. Thank you. This is the horse of the Adai breed. This is a unique breed that can be described as thorough, bred, spirited, fiery, and clean horse. The Adai horse can gallop 40-50 kilometers at the same pace. This horse breeds occupy special niches at the world sports stages. We will continue our program. In addition to traditions, the Kazakh people also have many equestrian games, in particular Baiga, Kokbar, Kisku, Tingyalu, Audarspak. Now there are many equestrian clubs that continue the Asian tradition of playing the national games. Our guest is Nurbol Buribekov. He's the director of Kokbar Youth League Club. Welcome to our studio, Nurbol. Hello and thank you. It's a pleasure to see you. You raised a very interesting theme. Kokpar is an equestrian sport. Kokpar Youth League was formed in 2016 and has achieved impressive success during this time. For example, we became members of the FICU, International University Sports Federation, uniting students from across the world. I would also like to stress the achievements of our league, which we are especially proud of. Uh, 
In May 2019, we visited France, where we presented Kokpar game to the whole world. For instance, before that, our record was set at Al Farabi Kazakh National University, with 1,500 spectators watching presentation. But in Fontaine Bleu, in two days, we gathered 16,000 spectators at a performance. The event was attended by hunters of France and other countries of the world. We proudly presented the Kazakh folk sports to the people and aroused great interest. It is a wonderful club which promotes formation of interest towards traditional equestrian games among young people. Thanks to you, we have confidence that the centuries-old traditions passed down from our ancestors will not be forgotten in the future. We have a large audience, so please tell us more about the history of Kokpar. In general, the word kokpar comes from the word kokbure. Kokbure. Yeah. Kokbure. Yes. The word kokbure means the wolf. The title is originated from the meaning hunting for wolves. In the old days, our ancestors, who hunted for a long time, returned to the village with large prey. It was a frosty weather, everyone is riding a fast stallion. Hunters decided to organize an entertaining activity, the meaning of which is to reach the village first with the wolf's carcass. Everyone is riding fast horses, but the winner is the one who first reaches the village. With time, people no longer hunted wolves. Yes, only the best hunters could kill predators. Hunting for wolves, the nomads strengthened their faith into own spirit, strength of mind and perseverance. Even after the end of the hunt, men continued activity in the form of game using the skin of a wolf. Yes, you're right. I told you about equestrian entertainment in the ancient times, but during the fight against enemies, the skill was used when drawing up military tactics. This role was used. It was an element of military training, but the carcass of a wolf wasn't used here. Men chose an animal with a strong skin. It was mainly a goat carcass, and even calves were used in the southern regions. This is a traditional kokpar. We can say that the birthplace of traditional kokpar is the southern region of the country. For example, Shimkent, Taras. People there call the sport as Japai Kokpar. In the Youth Kokpar League, we had to replace the goat carcass with its analog. We travel around the world presenting this tradition to other countries. But in order to comply with the rules of international organizations, we had to replace the carcass with a layout, despite the fact that this is the main element of the tradition. <laughs> It's necessary to do this way. I will try to explain the basic idea of the Youth Kokpar League. For example, there is a football game. There is a standard football and mini football. So the Youth Kokpar League is similar to mini football. The team consists of three players and one substitute. In the old days, when people often fought in wars, Kokpar taught how to conduct military tactics, agility, speed of movement, perseverance. And now it's a popular traditional sport.
Another feature of the Youth League is that in all competitions, our participants ride ordinary Kazakh horse of Karabayir. As the saying goes, don't be afraid of the travel with a good horse. The stallion will not leave you in trouble, will reach the destination or fly if necessary. This is wonderful. Karabayir is an ancient breed. It was raised from early times. Yes, from early times. Therefore, it was called Karabayir, which means enduring, strong horses. They are especially ridden for Kokpar. They are more suitable. They are fast and convenient to ride. Therefore, they are intended for races. This is one of the requirements of our league. By the way, I would like to stress that we preserved a harness which belonged to Abai. It's wonderful. Yeah. The saddle of the great Kazakh poet Abai is preserved in your club. Undoubtedly, it's a great honor and a strong incentive. It's wonderful. Yes, thank you very much for coming to our studio and telling very interesting information about horses. Thank you very much. I'm very glad that this program promotes national values and contributes to revival of traditions. Thank you. I wish the traditional game Kokpar is played often. Thank you, and let it be so. Kazakhs revered the horses and made a beautiful harness for them. The next guest of our studio is an artisan who specializes in harness making, Isinali Askarov. Welcome. Hello. Is this handmade work? Please, tell us more about each product. The basic part is a saddle. It can be cut from a single piece of wood or assembled from separate parts. Then all are sewn with waxed thread, covered with two layers of skin. Then decorative elements from silver, brass, bone elements are added. For instance, there is a brass collar. What is it? Here is the breast collar. Breast collars are designed to help keep the saddle from sliding back on the horse. A good fitting breast collar allows enough movement of the saddle. Yes, it fixes the saddle, the breast collar. This is a breast collar. Then there is a crouper. It's fixed to the back of the saddle. This part? Yes, the crouper. It serves to ensure stable fixing of the saddle. Does it keep it tight? Yes, it does. This is a girth. It can be made in various forms. The girth is a piece of equipment used to keep the saddle, called in the Kazakh Pustan Tarpa. First, saddle need to be fixed. Yes, then a man can bestride a horse. A saddle cloth is designed for a comfortable riding. This is a stirrup, stirrup belt and stirrup strap. The stirrup is brass forged. Did you forge it? Yes, everything is handmade. Handmade equipment astonishes. Everything is decorated with silver and stones. Are they made of leather? This is made of genuine leather. What animal skin was used? Skin of cattle was used. Skin of a bull or a cow? Yes, the skin of a bull or a cow is used. A whip is also part of harness. It's a part of harness. This is a horse whip made from meadow sweet. 
The whip is tied with 12 bands. What is this? This is a crouper. The crouper. What is this detail for? Fringe is used as decoration. It looks splendid. Yes, fringe is used to decorate a horse. Isn't it heavy for a horse to be equipped with such an outfit? No. In general, this is a lightweight version. For instance, there were saddles of our ancestors. They were heavy since they were made of metal and genuine iron. In addition, they were coated with silver. They were extremely heavy. In the past, men were strong enough to equip horses with such outfit. But here we have lightweight version. There are horse whips. They are coated with silver. This is a horn of mountain goat and various inlays. And they are convenient for everyday use. They can be used as a souvenir in general. This is called yelik kamsha. It's comfortable for women. It's lightweight, short, and beautiful. Yelik kamsha. The whip can be of different types. They can be made from metal sweet. Do you mean that a whip handle is made of metal sweet? Yes. The metal sweet whip is very lightweight. You're a talented and skillful artisan. Do you have many orders? Of course, many people order such equipment. Sometimes I do not even have time off, but people buy such an expensive harness very rarely. Clients prefer more ordinary sets and order them mainly. For example, it takes six months to make such a saddle. Do you make such a saddle for six months? Yes, smaller saddles are produced in one or two months. Only skilled masters are gifted with the talent to produce a horse harness. One must be a real artisan who owns several types of crafts. First, the master should be a sculptor, a carver, because the saddle is primarily cut out of wood. One of the stages includes covering the saddle with leather, so the master must be able to tan the leather. Blacksmith skills are necessary to forge stirrups and a bit. In addition, the master should be skilled in jewelry making. Sometimes products are decorated with bone, silver, and even gold. Felt are used to decorate saddles and embroider ornaments. The master must also be able to sew. Today we saw a seam. Saddle seam. This craft implies application of a saddle seam. True craftsmen are people who make all horse harness and saddles. You are a genuine master. Thank you. Let this art be passed down from generation to generation and revived among craftsmen. I wish your students proudly say that they have learned everything from Yesin Ali, master. I wish you health and plentiful source of inspiration. Thank you. Let your wishes come true. Thank you for coming to our studio. Thank you for your invitation. When a boy is born to a family, Kazakh people say the future horseman was born. We wish health to the horse riders of our nation. You watched Kazakh Live Disturb program on Kazakh TV. See you soon.